Okay. So Namachai biota. Namachai biota seems very exotic even among Idiacon fossils. And this is what and, and, and this is not what we would expect because this is the final stage in the evolution of the Idiacon biota. We're approaching the boundary with the Cambrian, so we would expect to see fossils that are more Cambrian looking. Instead, we see a very bizarre assemblage of forms that do not really fit even into the Idiacon story. And these are the main characters you, re you, you recognize different names. Uh, the the Namatai biota uh, ha has its name after the, the Nama, uh, Nama group in Namibia, and this is where most of the taxa were described. Um, they're all peculiar in that they have uh, three-dimensional preservation. Uh, as you can see, they're all preserved as three-dimensional casts and, and, and molds in sand, and uh, the common the the common e e interpretation is that they they were epibenthic organisms that were s s smothered by sand during uh, storm events or flood events, and that sand s somehow p penetrated into the body and it, into the tubes, into the cavities, and created this three three dimensional cast. This is the uh, re reconstruction from the classical. P uh, p paper by Richard G Jenkins, and this idea still, prevent, uh, still pre pre prevails in the in the literature. So this is one of the recent papers de describing a pre pre preservational mode of r r Rangia. Again, an, an epibenthic organism shown over there in Figure One, and it's uh, smothered by the sediment-laden flow. There is, however, evidence, and you know my take on on on, on these uh, uh, fossils. If you, if you if you study the assemblages of of three-dimensional casts, they don't look as if they were tr transported or buried in sand. Um, there are various cases of p penetrative growth, inverted growth in uh, in the Nama type organisms. They often cross lamination in the sediment. Uh, it's, it's very common to see this. They always preserved in situ, in life position within the sand. And uh, they have a very complex taphonomy, which is very difficult to, 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 to explain if sand just p p penetrates into the, the cavity. You, re you really need to, to, to have sand in life uh, in this organism. So m my take on, on the Nama type um, biota is that it, 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 it represents an Idiacaran uh, underground world that th they all lived within, within the this, this sediment. Um, and this is the re reconstruction of, of, her, of herniatus from one of the recent papers. And this is how I would see uh, the, 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 the Nama type biota. They were all in faunal, all uh, underground. Okay, so this is the, the introduction. And, and I'm going to talk about this fossil, which is called Anegia nyonaxa. It, ha it has been known from four localities. Uh, the top left in, is the type locality in the White Sea area. Uh, the top right is in Namibia, found by Guy Narbon. Uh, the lower left is from China, from Shibantan. Member and the, the lower uh, right is from, from from Australia. This fossil is always confused with uh, Pteridinium, and, and and I'm going to show you that this is uh, that, that that these two taxa sh should be uh, kept s s separate. Um, so they they're different. They uh, if just if you look at the at the appearance of the fossils, the s s segments. In the Onegia, which is, which is shown to, to, in, 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 in the right uh, part of the figure, it has segments that are wider than in, in Pteridinium. There are also many more characters. I won't go into the detail because they, uh, I think there are two 
possibly three people in the audience who would really love to see all, 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 all the details, but I'm t telling you that, that, that these are just two different t taxa. And the, and the fundamental difference is that pterodinium uh, is made of three veins, which are um, almost uh, uh, I, uh, identical. So you see one, two, and th th third vein goes into the sediment, whereas anega consists of two veins. And, and the th third vein is not a real vein. It's, it's a different structure. It's not made of quilts. It's a membrane, shown here in the, in the top right. And it's corrugated, which means it's uh, folded along the the um, um, the the junctions between this m membrane and 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 baffles. So if you Im imagine a boat, a boat that, that has two sides, and the boat is divided by the membrane, and the interior of the boat is divided by uh, by baffles, uh, and this is the the reconstruction. <clears throat> Okay, so this is the, the way I view an egg. So it has two veins, and the 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 the, 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 the that form this uh, boat-like shape, and the interior of the boat is divided by the membrane, which is colored here, and the interior of the boat is divided by the baffles. And you can see these baffles be beautifully preserved in the fossils in this uh, lo lower right fossil. They're different from the three-dimensional three pr preservation of the quilts that you uh, occasionally see in uh, pteridinium. It, 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 you, you, you often find the the, the junction area between the three, three veins in, in, in period union preserved in three dimensions. And it's often, um, it, it's quite often that you find the three, three, three dimensional pr preservation of, of, the, of the junction area. But these are real, buff, uh, real buffles. These are the s s structures that uh, ran along the boundaries between the segments and they extended up, uh, upwards and were connected to the median d d diaphragm, this, uh, this, this other membrane. So this is the, again, the, re re the reconstruction of, of, uh, of Onegia, how I see it. There is another, yes, and, and it has uh, implications for t taxonomy as well. Different t t taxa like Incrovia, Lata, and Archangelia Valdaica, they now become junior s s s synonyms of, of Anegia. And Anegia, the genus Anegia, was, uh, invent, was, was uh, erected by S Sokolov, the guy who, who, who invented the, the Vendian in 1976. <clears throat> so he was the first who, re who re re recognized that this is not a, 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 that the, the fossils that we find in the White Sea is not uh, pteridinium. <clears throat> so now I'm going to talk quickly about an, another taxon, Ventagyrus. This is the, the first uh, species I, uh, the, the, that I described almost tw 20 years ago. And it, it is known from two localities now in the, in the White Sea. It is again preserved uh, in, in, in three dimensions. This is looking from um, below, and this is a view from the side. It has a, an, an interesting undivided un, 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 unit, and the rest of the body is divided into s s segments, and the, the division is very interesting. Uh, so this is a cast, a, an internal it's a, a, a three-dimensional three cast of Ventagyrus, and you break it along the midline, and you see the impression of what looks like a third vein. But again, it's not a vein. It, it is a 
membrane and you can see from, from the preservation that it's different from, from the veins. And this is to get to the, the idea of the, of the three-dimensional pr pr preservation of this t t taxon. You, you take the fossil, which is shown over there in the top left, you break it along the midline, along this midline, right? And you expose a, a median d d diaphragm, and then you break it along the boundary between the segments and you expose uh, the baffles. Again, you can see that these, these are not three-dimensionally three preserved quilts. These are real structures that were connected to the boundaries between the segments and were connected to the, the median diaphragm. <clears throat> so this is the reconstruction. Uh, again, I, I colored the, uh, the median diaphragm. And there is this int interesting undivided re re region, which I'm, uh, I'm going to talk about qu quickly. The, uh, uh, there is a group of ediacaran organisms where we see a, a very similar undivided r region. And this is a group called sp 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 spruginomorphs. Um, they all have this interesting head region, as it always called, but it's better to call it just an uh, undivided region. And uh, you find it in, in, a, in a whole variety of, of forms. And the, 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 the idea that I'm going to um, uh, defend here is that uh, Ventagyrus and Anegia were probably descendants of uh, sprigginomorphs that acquired infernal life habit and thereby they changed their, their morphology. And, and this undivided area in Ventagyrus also has similarities with an undivided area in Charnia. This is the a structure which is usually called holdfast in Charnia and in this beautifully preserved specimen in Russia, you can see that, that it, it's, it's very similar in, 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 in preservation to the undivided area in Ventajaru. So it's, it emphasizes that all these organisms at the end can all be uh, uh, pretty close re relatives to each other. Again, this is do uh, we, we're coming back to Dolph's idea that they were all members of the same group. Um, now, Rangiomorphs, and Ch Charnia is, is a member of Rangiomorphs. Rangiomorphs, too, um, evolved into a, a, a three dimensional form called Rangio Schneiderhoney. This is the only t t taxon in, in the Rangiomorph uh, group that has the same three, three dimensional morphology. And it, it is preserved in exactly the same way as uh, pteridunium from Namibia. They always, they, they can e even be observed within the same slab. They, they have the same orientation. And, and I interpret this as the evidence of their originally infernal lifestyle. And I'm, uh, this, the, uh, Runge is interesting. In, 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 in having two sets of, of quilts, the primary quilts and the s s uh, uh, subsidiary quilts. And the s subsidiary quilts are very interesting. In a paper, oh yes, and this is the, the, the idea that Runge evolved from Rangiomos. Rangiomos were epibenthic and at the end, by the end of the diacron, they, uh, they went into, uh, in, into more, more high energy s settings and became in funnel. And this is uh, a cast of, of Rangia uh, from the White Sea. And just want to point your attention to the, pr you see the, the sets of pr pr primary quilts and uh, subsidiary quilts and the subsidiary quilts, they turned out to be primary quilts that form a second layer. Uh, in fact, if you play with the light, you can see that there are two sets of 
second order branches superimposed one on top of another over there, for example. So these are two, two sets of quilts from two different layers that are, that are got overprinted. And this is very interesting. It, it means that it's, it's another evolutionary, uh, evolutionary uh, 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 trend that we see in these infernal organisms. Many um, nematyped taxa do have this multi-layered structure, like uh, Erniata. Erniata is multi-layered. Short punte is multi-layered. So I see this. I see it as a as as, as one of the ways of of um, expanding the the interior of the body while you are uh, uh, adapting to an infernal uh, lifestyle. So this is the the, the major um, conclusions that I'm tr that I'm trying to to, to draw. That the the Namatai biota it evolved. It, it, it's a very complex biota. It consists of descendants of white sea biota and of the Avalon type biota that went underground uh, just uh, at the end of the Ediacaran. In fact, if we plot uh, all the known occurrences of Nama type fossils uh, against the dates, now the dates uh, for, for uh, Namibia should be corrected there, they are a little bit younger as we know now, but it, it doesn't really change the, the, uh, the story. But what is interesting is that Anegia neonoxa has been known from four localities, and, ba and, and just looking at the dates, uh, it appears one of the, uh, amongst the lo long-ranging Ediacaran taxa, just like Ch Ch Charnia, for example, the, the, the range of Anegia uh, reaches 20 million years. Uh, and other fossils, other represent, uh, representatives of the Namatai biota, they, well, based on the, on the available evidence, they appear to be rather sh sh short-lived, but we don't know the exact ages of, 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 of Erniata from, from, from the United States. We don't, and there is a, an, an, an unexplored Namatai biota in the Baikal, near the Baikal Lake in, in, in in Russia, it has Erniata morphs, it has um, Anegia as well, and we don't know the exact age of that locality. But uh, anyway, so you can see that um, Namatai biota did, didn't just um, exist during a very short interval of time before the end of the diachron. It, there was really a long, a long history to these fossils. And, uh, and as, as I, can, as, uh, as I uh, already said, they, they, they probably evolved uh, uh, as, uh, as, as a result of my, m migration of, of uh, representatives of the, of, the, of the white sea biota and of the Avalon type biota into uh, in, into the high, high, high energy environment. And they acquired their three-dimensional uh, shape as, a, as an adaptation to um, infernal life. And going back to this diagram, so Anege and Ventajaris, they, they can be viewed as, as descendants of sprigunomorphs. Paleoplatoda, Schwarzpuntia, they consist of multi-layered veins. Uh, uh, Pteridinium uh, is made of uh, three veins. R Range is, is a descendant of Rangiomorph. So we, we see that the, 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 the organisms are not cl clearly, they, they, once they become infernal, uh, they, their overall morphology looks um, s s similar, but the internal structure is is different. <clears throat> and this, of course, goes back to Dolph's original idea um, that this, all, this, 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 this organism, they, they, were, they were probably cl closely re re related. And what we can see is the, the, the disparity of Ediacaran organisms is probably as a result of adaptation to different l lifestyles. And this is m m uh, uh, 
modified his original idea of, of the vendor biont that you have organisms with fr fr fractal quilting and serial quilting, and depending w whether you're epibenthic or, 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 or infonal, you will have a different morphology. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm finished. So this is the, uh, <laughs> this is the, the main idea. Okay. You finished? Yep, I finished. We'll have time for